Welcome back to the Forensics Detailing channel. Today we're going to do some live polishing, which is something you don't often see on YouTube because things can go wrong. The machine polisher might wobble and you might look like a bit of an idiot for a second as you adjust. Well, here, here it is. Do not worry about things like that because you're operating a machine which is kind of never going to be 100% stable and stuff like that. So don't always try and be like the old Olympic ice skater gliding over the paintwork, especially when you're starting. Little things are going to happen and you're going to look a bit clumsy. Um, I've done loads of polishing guides. I'm just setting the tripod out because I'm going to set this down. I've done loads of polishing guides, so you've probably got the idea. This video, I want to make it specific to our 34... Uh, it's not a 3401, it's a Flex XCE. Force rotation, so if I try and twist this, it doesn't move. Unlike free spinning, which moves, which spins, okay? So that's the difference. If you, that's, the bearing is offset. So if you lean over with this, you'll stall it out and you'll just get the oscillation of the machine, if you like. And you won't get that, that spin that's generated by the momentum. This, the spin is geared. So it will never, you won't slow the rotation down. Um, the disadvantage of that is because that rotation is forced, as well as the oscillation being forced, um, you will feel the machine on the panel pulling you around like a, like a lawnmower. <laughs> the missus is staring at me, wondering what I'm doing. <laughs> What's she saying? Go away. <laughs> Never leave. Well, as soon as I start recording. Right. Um, I lost my train of thought there. So the force rotation can pull you around. That's the first thing. Now, that is the most important thing. And it's the biggest point of this video, okay? The biggest point, one word, well, it might be two, <laughs> balance. When you have this machine balanced, it suddenly goes into this harmonious mode where it's not pulling you, pushing or pulling you around, and it feels good, okay? Now, as you move, you, you move your arms around over a panel, like the one I'm gonna demonstrate here at the moment, when I pull this machine this way, the panel starts to, the angle changes and your hands never adjust perfectly like a robot to that angle. So the machine will become slowly and progressively more unlevel as you move and you're sort of compensate, you'll never get it right. And what happens is as the machine becomes unlevel, you'll start feeling, feeling the effects of that and getting a certain pull in a certain direction. Okay, same if I'm cross hatching and I'm going, that way the angle is going down you know so i've got to change so what i'm saying is you get used to trying to keep the machine level and that is the secret with with this particular polisher okay now i'm just going to set the shot up as we speak and i want the shot to show you the level which is very important so now go away now, where did I get to for I was so rudely interrupted? I tell them, I tell the missus, because she has a habit of interrupting me, do not interrupt to me unless there is literally a Scud missile on its way down, like destination, my garage. Other than that, I don't want to know. She interrupted me because she'd made a salad and she wanted to show it to me. So you've got to pretend you're interested in a salad, you know. It's like a bacon sandwich or a hamburger. I mean, fair enough, but Jesus. Right. Now what I want to do is just check, you can see this. Come on, it's cameras. Well, you've got a good view of that. That'll do, it's a bit, it'll look a bit zoomed. So, we take our polish. I've got a microfiber here, so I can just lay the tool to that microfiber for a second while I give that a good shake. <laughs> and we'll put some polish on our pad. We need that polish at the bottom of the bottle, or else you'll be fighting. There we go. It's pretty decent, these little bottles with the the kind of nipples, you know what I mean? Um, right. So let's get going. So the same rule applies with the XCE, the force rotation, as the free spinning. It's nice to get a fresh layer of product over the area you're pol polishing, so you can turn the machine down, which is a bit of a pain. Almost like with polishing machines, it'd be nice if you had a spread button where you could just keep your keep your polisher on the speed you want. And then when you put the polish on, you just hit the spread button and it drops it down to speed one. 
and then you can press it again it drops it back up to speed six that would be a nice feature might come it might come you never know um what else would be a nice feature there's another thing that i thought of oh a timer a built-in timer on the side where you can just press the button you could have a little style where you set the time and you press the button it clicks clicks down so when you start polishing it will beep after three minutes or something that would be useful for me a man who's always polishing for too long because i'm just not aware of the time you know it might come these ideas people listen if anyone's listening pass that on to the manufacturers well you'll be saying we well, you could just put it on your app yeah but you just don't you don't have the app to hand you don't have the app to hand You'll be messing around with your phone, your phone keeps cutting off and power, going into power save mode. You have to press the button, put the code in every five minutes. You want it on the side of the machine polisher. So we spread out our polish. We can use speed one to work that polish around. Okay. So we've got an even more elite layer of film. Once that film is like that, really all the risks are gone. If you put the film out too thick, you can splatter. But one good thing about the free spinning machines is they don't tend to splatter. The rotation seems like more controlled and slower. And it's that rotation which tends to cause the splatter. Okay, so I've got, I've cranked this up to top speed. Okay, and the aim of the game is here, what we were talking about is, the, is keeping it level. So let's get started. And you might see this machine work around move me around a little bit and then I start sussing it and you see me drop this down or lift this up and you're always going to have to react so it's never going to be put smooth sailing I also like to just keep my hand on top um, with my fingers I'm not getting too close to the car because I've got zip on I'm conscious so that should probably take this off but I'm cold so I've got another top that I should really wear for polishing but there we go so let's do this okay so here we go
very easy machine to control guys um, you can see there when I'm holding it with one hand if I drop the level it starts walking towards me if I go too high up there it goes that way if I tilt it this way it's going to want to walk off over there if I tilt it that way it's going to want to pull there so when it's level you can see that in action can't you when you hold it with one hand when you're not level off it goes so just about keeping it level I find it's a really easy machine to use and after a few sets you know a few polishing runs you get used to it very very quickly the whole anti-clockwise thing isn't an issue at all you will just get used to the polisher and you'll start to like it and you'll start to like it it's very easy to demo it on a roof isn't it on a hood I wouldn't use this polisher now to try and polish this bit out because it's a thin bit I'd use a smaller pad um, I've done lots of demos where I'm using vertical panels. It's harder on vertical panels. It's harder to sort of feel the level, especially on a door with lots of edges like that. That'd be a bit trickier. But essentially, the point of this video is to say, if you're thinking about moving over to a force rotation polisher, then it's all about keeping it level um, and you'll get used to it very quickly. And you can get, you can utilize tilt a little bit when you need to without worrying about the machine stalling which I've talked about uh, I don't really need to utilize tilt sounds very clever doesn't it it's not it's just a, sometimes you'll be up against an edge or something where there's a bit of a curve and you'll just want to just lean the machine in to make sure you're actually polishing right up to the edge and you can do that with this free spinning machine does not like that being done I mean this doesn't really because it's not it's you know it's still a dual action but you can do it just a little bit of tilt um, and that's it. I don't find the, I don't find the whole push me, pull you thing a big problem. So I'm going to end this video here. If you're looking to um, start polishing, you should consider, you should consider the the, the forced rotation. So it seems to be like a little niche tool that only about 10%, give or take the odd plus or minus 50%. It's not an official stat. About 10% of people seem to love forced rotation. And I'm one of them. Um, you can't get little mini force rotations, so but that's not too much of a problem. The only thing is, you probably need to try them both to see which one you like. Um, you see, with these polishers, especially if you mark them up, put a little line on them, you you can become obsessed by the stall. And some people say to me, "I'm polishing, and my machine keeps stalling." It's normal. It's going to stall. It's going to stall the spin isn't driven so if you stop and put enough pressure on it the spin just stops um, and then you'll keep moving and suddenly it'll kick back in again that's normal um, when you see it happening all the time then you've got a problem <laughs> in some machines you know you can get very cheap dual action polishers the daz 6 pro plus and i've done a review with ian from um, uk detailing where we try to fairly compare the cheap Chinese ones, if you call them that, that's Pro Plus versus the Rupes and versus the Flex. And we thought for guys at home, the Chinese Daz Pro Plus, you know, for about £150 was probably the best option. But the reason I'm mentioning those is with stall, sometimes those machines, the plates aren't mounted perfectly perpendicular or parallel, sorry, per parallel to the shroud. So you can see if you get the light through the gap, there's a bit of an angle and it's kind of rubs in one place more than another. Not all of them, but keep an eye out if you buy the cheaper tools for that. And you can get a lot more stall in a particular place where it's rubbing with excess pressure. It should be parallel. Um, these flex ones, they're not bad. They don't rub. I mean, you can hear it's nice, smooth, good quality bearing, but they, they will stall. Stiffer the pad on there, the wider cone pads are more prone to stalling. But even these soft pads, if you go over a valley, it stalls, and then you come out the other side and it starts again. So anyway, that's it for now. I'm going to do another video now on how you should buff off the polish, which might be useful. May or may not. <laughs> so uh, I'll see you soon. Um, take care. Bye for now.